It's Thursday, February 14th, and welcome to a special Valentine's Day edition of the Legislative Update. I'm Daniel Williams, field organizer and legislative specialist with Equality Texas. Love is all around, but as we all know, the state of Texas refuses to recognize relationships between two people of the same gender. So on this Valentine's Day, I thought we'd take a look at the legal hurdles standing between Texans and the freedom to marry. Think back to a sunny spring day in 2003. Back then, the only thing between the people of Texas and the freedom to marry was practice. It just wasn't done. In 2003, no state had the freedom to marry. But there were already rumblings afoot. In Massachusetts, the lawsuit that would eventually bring the freedom to marry to that state was already in the courts. The idea that a lawsuit could bridge the barrier between the people of Texas and the freedom to marry scared the opponents of marriage equality. So in 2003, they passed through the legislature the so-called Texas Defense of Marriage Act, stating in law what was already the practice of the state, that Texas refuses to recognize the relationships between same-gender couples. Now, the opponents of the freedom to marry were still afraid, because even though it would be much harder, there was still a chance that a lawsuit could scale the barrier that they had put in place and bring the freedom to marry to Texas. So they decided to put up another barrier, this time an amendment to the Bill of Rights in the state constitution saying, once again, that Texas would not recognize any marriages other than those between a man or a woman or anything similar to marriage. So this is where we are today. There's a double wall, the Texas Defense of Marriage Act and the constitutional amendment preventing the freedom to marry in Texas. If we want the freedom to marry, we have to tackle both obstacles and get over the issue of practice. Almost immediately after the constitutional amendment passed in 2005, Representative Garnett Coleman started working to remove it by filing legislation. This year, his legislation is called House Joint Resolution 78. Joint resolutions are needed to propose constitutional amendments as opposed to bills which alter statute. This year, Representative Coleman's been joined by Representative Rafael Anchia, who filed the identical House Joint Resolution 77, and Senator Jose Rodriguez, who filed Senate Joint Resolution 29. These three pieces of legislation are aimed at taking down the barrier to the freedom to marry that was added to the Constitution in 2005. Even more excitingly, Representative Lon Burnham just today filed House Bill 1300, which would remove the barrier added to statute in 2003 and add specific language permitting the freedom to marry, removing the issue of practice. There's a great video of Representative Burnham talking about what he describes as his Valentine to the people of Texas. Check it out here. Now, the likelihood of any of this legislation passing is debatable, but their introduction is an important step. The first step to fixing any broken law is the idea. The idea to bring the freedom of marriage to Texas has been around since well before 2003. The second step is to convince a lawmaker that the idea is not only a good one, but that it's worth fighting for. That's why the filing of this legislation is so very important, because it's a step further than we've ever gotten before. You can help us take another step by calling your lawmakers and asking them to co-author this legislation. On a personal note, I'd like to wish a happy Valentine's Day to my partner Jason, who's back in Houston. I'm so very sorry to miss Valentine's Day, sweetheart. I will see you tomorrow night. I'll be back with a full recap of the week tomorrow. Until then, I'm Daniel Williams, field organizer and legislative specialist with Equality Texas, wishing you a happy Valentine's Day.